Hi, I'm Joe Bersold and welcome to Training Minutes. In today's segment, we're going to cover fog vent or hydraulic ventilation. Hydraulic ventilation is probably one of the most effective means of moving smoke from a structure. The advantage to using fog vent is that the line has already been stretched in the building and used to extinguish the fire. It is also the most effective means of removing smoke from the structure. It will also allow firefighters to look for any hidden hot spots while keeping the line readily available and accessible should those hot spots reappear while they're performing fog ventilation. The key here is the backup person. The backup person must constantly look around his surroundings to make sure that they are still in a safe environment and that fire has not reignited or rekindled in any one area. If it does at this point, they will then shut down their fog ventilation, go ahead, overhaul the small fire, and then return to fog ventilation. This must be done in coordination with all the companies operating in and on the fire ground. Also, companies operating outside the fire ground, as a line will now be placed outside or shooting outside the structure. This would not be good if the command post was located opposite the window you were fog venting. Firefighters are inside the burning building. They're inside the room that's on fire. They've extinguished the fire. They are now going to take the line and walk over or crawl over to the window. They're going to place the line outside. They're then going to open the line on a tight pattern, staying low, and crawl back into the structure. As they crawl back in, they're going to stay in the kneeling or squatting position. They will then open the line to a wider fog pattern, just so it covers the edges of the window. This is the most effective means of removing the smoke from the structure. It's called fog vent or hydraulic ventilation. Firefighters will continue to do this until they feel that they've successfully removed most of the smoke or all of the smoke from the structure. At the same time, the backup person will continue to monitor the situation for safety. He will look for any hidden fire or fire that rekindles because of now the fresh air being pulled into the structure. If this should occur, the firefighters will shut down their fog ventilation, extinguish the fire, and then go back to fog ventilation. Firefighters should also be consciously aware of the stream now exiting the window and where it's going. Is there any wires outside? Is there a command post? Where is the water physically going? Once they've successfully removed the smoke from the room or environment, they will go back to a tight pattern. They will crawl back up to the window edge and sill, place the nozzle outside the window edge, shut the line down. This is to prevent any excessive or unnecessary water damage inside the structure. They have now successfully completed a successful fog ventilation or hydraulic ventilation of the structure. Thank you for watching Training Minutes. I'm Joe Birchholz.